Welcome to a special edition of Inside the Vandals. I'm Hunter Funk. And I'm Brayden Gain. The Vandal football team played their annual silver and gold game. The Kibbe Dome was full of action. Brayden, tell us about the key players and what went down. That's right, the players were excited to get out on the field for the first time in a real game type situation since this previous season. The setup was first team offense for second team defense and second team offense for his first team defense. And a lot of players were showcasing their abilities tonight. On the offensive side of the ball, quarterbacks Colton Richardson and Mason Petrino split reps, both showing signs of good play and improvement from last season, throwing multiple touchdowns in the game. And on the receiving end of those touchdowns were wideouts Kirtrell Haywood and Jeff Cotton, both looking primed to be the go-to receivers for the Bandles next year. And last but not least, running backs Roshan Johnson and Andre Carter displayed their physicality on the field, breaking tackles throughout the game and fighting for extra yardage every time they touched the ball. On the opposite side of the ball, a defense full of new faces got their first chance to play as a unit, and they would impress as well. Cornerback Jalen Hoover and Lloyd Hightower played lockdown defense on the Vandals' second team offense receivers, racking up multiple deflections in the passing game. And in the run game, linebackers Charles Acano and Trey Walker asserted their dominance with a handful of tackles for loss and showcased their ability to quickly fill gaps and meet the running backs in the hole. And it's going to be exciting to see the Vandals take the field again this fall. That's right, and their first game will be on the road at Penn State in Happy Valley. But that's all the time we have for you tonight. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Brayden Kane. And I'm Hunter Funk. And we'll see you guys next time.